What up, everybody? Hey, it's currently 7.44 out here in the east. It is 6.44 out there for the central people, 5.44 p.m. out there for the mountain time, and 4.44 out there for the west coast people. It's the Sports Chasers podcast, coming to you live and direct every week. Every week, this is a sports podcast where we talk about sports, nothing but sports, what's on the field, no hot takes, no outtakes, there's nothing but authentic sports talk. And this week, yo, we got a lot to get into. Um, last night, Major League Baseball had their Midsummer Classic, the All-Star Game, out in Denver last night, Denver, Colorado. American League wins again for the eighth time in a row. Um, Vlad Guerrero, he won the um, MVP. Him and um, Fernando Tatis Jr., hey, they're sons of uh, former MLB players. It was great to see the new, some of the new stars, young and upcoming stars coming up. We'll get into that. Hey, we're going to get into the Shohei Otani phenomenon. Hey, this guy bats, he pitches, and he's nice for both of them. At the break, he's got 32 home runs. They say he's on he's on pace to break uh, Ty Roos' record of 62. I mean, excuse me, 61 and um, home runs. I mean, excuse me, Roger Maris. We'll also talk about the MLB Power Top 20 teams, what's going on at the break. We'll talk about the NBA Finals. It's 2-1. to one. We got game four here tonight. Uh, Olympic basketball is on the way. The U.S. has lost two exhibition games. Is there a concern? Lost to Australia the other night. The National Hockey League, the Tampa Bay Lightning, they won the uh, Lord Stanley Cup last week. Shout out to the Tampa Bay Lightning, their second, um, excuse me, um, cup win in a row. They're the defending champions. UFC is Conor McGregor, is the Conor McGregor era. Is it over? We got the broke lead last week. DW, who's our ever been, um, Carl's brother, he'll get into that. And as I do that, going from my left to right, or it's just the crew, DA. Hey, what's up to the people, man? What's going on? Yeah, what's up, everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. Ready to get into it, man. A lot of good stuff going on in the last few weeks, man. So, ready, willing. That's what's up. We missed him last week, but the angry one is back. James Eric Warren, what's up, brother? Say what's up to the people. What up, what up, what up, what up? Boy, Chase's family was really good, man. Back in a place like I never left. That's a bar. Bars, that's what we do here. Next up, it's D-Dub. D-Dub, what's up? What up, fam? What up? What's going on, Sports Chase's podcast? We back at it. Doing it big was good. D Dub has D Dub shaved. Gee whiz! <laughs> wow. And last but not least, the youngest one, the 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 Mike Taker, the Mike Stealer, the Mike Raker, Mike Mills. What's up? No bars. Huh? <laughs> <Good morning. laughs> Nothing. But uh, <laughs> greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sitting through the extended intro this week. Let's get to it. <laughs> Stuttering and staring. I was just a little long with it. Yes, I was. The, it's like, the director's cut intro. <laughs> it's good to be back, man. Um, we had a very spirited con- um, conversation before coming on, and um, I guess we'll we'll get to that right away. But um, before we get to that, we'll we'll talk about Major League Baseball. And um, last night, the Major League Baseball pauses every summer around July, in, in the middle of July, and they have the um, All Star Game. And last night, the American League beat the National League five to two. The American League has won the eighth time in a row. Um, Matt Guerrero um, Jr. was um, anointed the MVP for his 464 foot blast that he had in the third inning. If you saw the game, um, in my opinion, in the words of James Eric Warren, in my opinion, I think 
out of all of the pro sports, MLB puts on the best all-star games. I see the guys out there trying. I see the guys out there hitting. Um, you know, they relaxed the rules a little bit last night for Shohei Otani um, of making the DH. But um, salute to baseball for kind of, you know, showing off their, 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 new, um, their new guy. And so they relaxed the rules. They let um, Otani hit. Oh, I, I totally forgot. Hey, Mike, your man, Pete Alonzo. Yo, shout out to Pete. Two times in a row, he's won the, he's won the um, home run home run competition contest. So shout out to him. Um, but I, I just enjoyed um, MLB's All-Star game. To me, I think it's the best. And we'll just take a little poll right here. Um, start with Mike since I, I talked about this. Mike, who's the, what's the best All-Star game to you out of all the professionals? None of them shits because I don't watch them. They're all terrible. They're all, <laughs> all, of them, all of them are terrible. I don't care. I'll be the guy to say it. I'm glad you picked me first. They're all of them. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad. Baseball, they try to compete, but it's only, it's not worth nothing. So nobody really, all of them games is pointless. They're all terrible. But you don't think that, you know, getting those collective people together and playing, you don't watch it all? You didn't watch people. You a Mets fan? I don't watch none. Big none, none of them. None of them. I mean, I watched some of the Derby. I ain't gonna lie. After I seen he did the first round, I watched the second one. He got some in the second one, but I ain't really. Cause like baseball all star, it don't mean nothing. So they the pitches being two innings at a time at most. I just it don't be competitive enough for me. So I don't watch no all star games. Okay, I, I got you. I I, I would beg the difference. Well, what about you think about the basketball one, the NBA one? That one is terrible. Oh, them shits is, them is dog terrible. B- basketball is only good for Saturday. And then the rookie, also the rookie sophomore game used to be good. And then they turned that into U.S. versus like, that shit is terrible now too. They yeah. messed it up. Basketball got Saturday night and that's it. Nothing else matters. And then Saturday night, not even good because they fucked Damn. up the dunk contest. I was about to say. So they got the three-point shootout. They messed up the skills. Mm-hmm. Everybody got an hour from me, it looks like. Baseball get us a little bit of the derby. Basketball get the three-point shootout. That's it. So we'll take it from here. Mike is the youngest out of us. <laughs> Mike just said, oh, I don't watch none of that stuff. D-Dub is a little bit older than Mike. Mike, I mean, excuse me, D-Dub, go ahead. What's your opinion? What's the best one? I, I have to concur, man. I don't really, I really didn't. I watched a little bit of the, the home run competition, home run derby. From our sponsors, we are a, a sports show. We are. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry However, they, they haven't watched the sports. Gee whiz. Yo, listen, man. Yo, we got to keep it real, man. We gonna keep, keep it funky, it. man. And be Word. honest with these people. I'm going to keep it listen. real funky for you. And the the reality is is that I didn't watch. I I I, I called you. I said, Yo, what's the score? <laughs> he, said, go. he said five yes, two. Sir. He said five two. So like that. I said, All right, cool. I'm please I'm report whatever to I was doing. He said, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, one for the hundred and fiftieth time. Yeah, right, yeah, he cool. said, yo, yo, fella. He said, you watching? I said, no. <laughs> he said, I'm watching Netflix. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching and, Netflix. And, and, and let me add this. I, and so, being forty something, right? <laughs> let me just add this. When we was coming along, oh man, you know what we yeah, have? It used to mean five, something, man. It used to it used to feel had, good. But, but, but we have four or five channels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nothing to compete with. So, Mike, okay. what did you watch last night besides the All-Star game? Loki, right? Loki. You watched Loki, right? <laughs> I watched Loki just now. I didn't watch Loki last night. Okay. I don't okay. remember what I watched last night. But you was Honestly. you was engaged in something else. d he was actually engaged in something else. And I just remember there's three or four or five channels. James Eric, what is your position on this? What what's the best All Star game? What do you think about All Star? Did you watch the game? Now, let me let me let me just break it down. I watched maybe the first inning just to see what Otani was gonna do or there whatever. Because he's the you know the phenom. He's, he's blah, the blah, face. Blah, blah. He, he's the face. I, I'm not even gonna get into that. I, I got a whole spill on you know, that. What, what you say, D? What you say, D? He's the what, D? He's the face. He's the what, D? He is the face. Wait, wait, face. wait, wait. How long can you go? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, would, I, would, I would say this, man. Um, I think that the baseball, I think baseball is the best one out of all of them. And I think that's followed by hockey. People don't give hockey no love. That's right, Eric, I agree. It. I concur. But their skills, I mean, I guess because it's just something different is it, for me, of course, I can only speak for myself. It would be baseball and then it's hockey. 
But other than that, do I watch it every single year? The, the All Star game? Nah, it ain't. Nah, it ain't. It ain't. I'm like this, be like. It's like everybody else, man. There's no competition in it, man. Ain't nobody really going all the way hard like they used to back in the day. You know what I'm saying? It meant something. You know what I'm saying? Cats. Uh, wow. but, hold on. Hold, I'm going to just keep it a buck, okay? Please. I'm going to keep it a buck. Baseball, try. it seems like they try more because it seems like they care more. The players seem like they care more when they are on the field. Oh, let me go ahead and get this ground ball since it's hit to me or whatever, whatever. Basketball, yeah, I'm going to shoot these threes and – I'm gonna I'm gonna see uh, how far I could, how far how from how how far I can shoot. I mean, it, it ain't it ain't the same be like how it was back in the day. So, but that's my take on it, man. Shout out to Peter Alonzo too. I, I did it. I did enjoy the the home run derby, but that's about it. Da, uh, your thoughts on the All Star well, game? Which which one's your favorite? Do you have? A- I'm 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 with E. Um, I ain't I didn't really watch any of them. Um. I watched some of hockey. I watched the first inning of the baseball. I never watched basketball. I never watched football. Um, football I, has um, an all star game? Yeah, right. Does it? No, not really. Is it for the, <laughs> Track oh, and field. If, if we, yeah, if, if, if you want to go into it really, football, really not because that's the sport where most of the stars really sit out. Like, nah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, let me, let me just go ahead and say this. Yo, they, the NFL, has not had a Pro Bowl since my man, rest in peace, Sean Taylor, laid out whoever that, that homeboy was that thought he was yes, going to run back. Oh, it's an all game. I'm going to give me some yards. Oh, oh that, that puncher. It was the puncher or the kicker. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yeah. that's what ended it. Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. That was the last one I watched. NFL shouldn't have nothing. Just the fact that they don't play and there's a possibility that it could yeah. be hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, just do a um a all star volleyball game and just call it a day, man. I'm, I'm no, cool. they yo they could just do they if they'd be better off just doing some superstar shit. Yo, man, let you're the gonna do a, players just do let a the banquet. football players do some other things other than play football. Yeah. Have your weightlifting, have your race. Have your quarterback thing. Have your oh no! Team. Oh no! That oh, is the combine after the show, DA. No, no, no. We're talking about <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> pros doing it though. I'm talking about pros doing it. Just you know, <laughs> pros because they they had like Larry Allen benching 225, 80 something reps or some shit like that, and you know my man from the Washington Redskins is still faster than, than young dudes. You know, like he beat his son in a race and he's 60 and his son 30. Like, you know, you can do that. Um, the all-star games, besides that, like you said, man, baseball, you have to play because it's not like you're not going to run out of single. You're going to do that or else you look stupid. You're going to run to catch a fly ball. You know, the things that you have to do are physically involving. So you're going to do what you're going to do. So I don't think that. You're going to compete. Yeah. And they tried As- to they tried to figure out something at one point, right? Where if you won, you had the World Series start yeah. in the National yeah. League. The, the, the team that won the, the, the won yeah. The, yeah. They, won, they won they went to the, to the World Series. I, I did think um I enjoyed the home run derby. I do have issue with the home run derby because oh. the, yeah, yeah, man. Because dudes dudes would be dead fucking tired, man. Like for real. Like yo, dog, like yo. Peter Alonzo and them was chilling in the back, smoking blunts and drinking 40s. Why Soto and, and Otani was out there going back to back for like four hours, though. Yeah, they did. Yo, that... <laughs> like real talk. Otani was gassed. <laughs> said it last night. Otani was, they, was gassed. They, they yeah. all were, I mean, him and Soto was like, your dog, like. But this is the reason that this happened to Aaron Judge uh, yes. a year or two ago. Yeah. And yeah, then got... the second half. Now I don't want to blame it all on the home run derby, but the second half he was not the same. Oh well, they said now that's for sure. So we definitely got to see from that perspective. Dean. So I'm we'll glad see. You brought that out. The mm-hmm. second half of the season, like we'll see what happens, right? Mm-hmm. That's a lot. That's why a lot of dudes are like, "Yo, I'm not doing it." Yeah. Right. But what I was saying that even with that, it's not a fair resting between your rounds. No, it's just not. And they have to figure out a way to say, yo, if this dude's up 15 minutes, 15 minutes hit. Because, dog, yo, them two went back to back. They had two ties. Mm-hmm. And then they had to go down to the three swings thing. Yeah. And Otai was probably like, yo, damn. Woo, I'm glad I hit a single. Because <laughs> I'm tired, dog. I'm tired right now. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's like, yo, there was no way in the world I could have beat Peter Lonzo. Like, there was nothing I could do, period, from this point on, if I had to go up against that monster over there. Pete who's is a been monster. Who has been sleeping on the couch for the last 45 minutes? Like, yeah. There's yeah. nothing I could do against it. Yeah. So, like, I, I think that, but it was really I agree. They would have to, they have to figure that part out. That I portion. think it was real entertaining, and I had fun watching it, man. And Peter Lonzo, to me, represented New York. Just in his attitude, yes, trying to get everybody involved, With the music and everything. So yes, we go back to to our, our issue of baseball and them saying it's not popular. You know what it is, dude. You guys are looking to instead of letting the guys who are natural guys that entertain come Shows, out and do that showmanship. Yeah, you you want to pick and choose the guys you want to be on top of the MLB box. You so can. Peter Same Lonzo way. is showing you, yo, I'm here. I'm down. Yo, Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, as good as they are, both them dudes just want to play ball and go to the crib. And they and they play in big. And that's fine. Games. And 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 to, to piggyback off what, what Dorian says, man. Yeah, I absolutely have a problem with Major League Baseball. Stop trying to pick and choose and just do it organically and let your stars show. Hey, they they had a mic on Fernando Tatis Jr. last night, man. And it was really, really good to, you know, hear him say, yo, I came up along with Vlad uh, Guerrero Jr. They both came up. They both came on the majors together. They both grew up in that in that culture of, you know, of being in the clubhouse all the time. And and just because, not just because of their surnames, because I believe they had different surnames, they would absolutely be just as good, man. Fernando Tatis Jr. is good. Vlad can hit that ball a mile. Man, so shout out to Major League Baseball. I think this is kind of a little bit more coming out show of 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 them making sure that they put their stars up. And um, I think they just did a really good job last night, man. Um, the rating shows also because uh, it seems like uh, you got a Raiders number for me, kid. Give me a Raiders number. I don't have yeah. it right. Hold on, give me a minute. I'll get back with you. But and, and, it, it and, did from an article I had read earlier. So, uh, and yeah. also, we got two more kids coming in right now. This year's draft, Al Lider's son, Zach, um, and John Rocker's son, picked up by the Mets. Listen, um, which, okay. uh, which is an oxymoron, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> John Rocker, I hate New York. Remember that? Yeah, one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His son's um, going to be in Florida. He's going to be in Tampa St. Pete. So, Listen, Al Lider's son, I watched two weeks ago at the, at the what's that, the College World Series in, in Oklahoma. Yeah, John dude, Rocker's son too is in um, what you call him on um, Vanderbilt. Yeah. Um, dude is freaking nice. He throw like a hundred miles an hour. His his curveball is like, whoa, man. So shout out, you know, you know, you know, MLB is on is on the way. You got that number D. Uh, uh eight point two million fans turn, uh, tuned in to the contest with uh for last night. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's a that's a good showing of of that, especially in in the age. It of showed distraction. a better. It said the game showed a better rating from uh, in 2021 compared to 2019. So uh, that's what they're looking at. 8.1 million. Yeah, slightly up. Okay. Well, let's let's move right along to address the big elephant in the room of what we was talking about prior to. Um, us uh, coming on. Uh, I'll read this. Uh, ESPN commentator Stephen A. Smith is apologizing after his on-air comments of Los Angeles player Los Angeles player Shohei Otani. On Monday during a segment on the network's talk, uh, talk show First Take, Smith, 53, claimed Otani, 27, can't be the face of baseball because he uses the interpreter. The Japanese-born MLB star has often been compared to Legends Bay Roof due to his success as a pitcher and hitter on the field. He says, I understand that baseball is an international sport itself in terms of participation, but when you talk about an audience gravitating to the tube or to the ballpark to actually watch you, I don't think it helps that your number one face is a dude that needs an interpreter so you can understand what the hell he's saying in this country. Smith said on the show Monday. Um, I'm gonna start off, let me get into this. Yes, I know I'm a host of Monterey, but I'm gonna go into this. Let me get into this. Um, what Stephen A said, I think what he said, he um, he didn't even think that through. And I said to the guys that prior to um, Otani coming, 
it was absolutely Hispanic players and Asian players that played this game with an interpreter. Um, I was just saying Hideki Masui, um, who was it? The um, El, D- El, Duke, El Duque and, um, and um, his brother during during the time where they was the Yan- with the Yankees. Um, there's been others, Ichiro, Ichiro Suzuki, played with the Mariners for years and he's had an interpreter. And we just focus on what he does at the plate. Now, with that said, you know, I heard somebody say today, hey, if the roles were reverse, if a person, and I need to look this up, if the person goes out to say, um, China, like like um, Marlboro, he went out to China. Marlboro got a statue out there. Correct. I don't know if Stephon Marbury, shout out to Marbury, my man from Brooklyn, Coney Island. I don't know if Marbury speaks a lot of Chinese, but they got a statue out there of him. That's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to leave it in DW's hands since his screen is up first. Go ahead. Yo, I just think that he, this guy, it was just a dumb comment. I, I don't know. I don't know. He just, I mean, hot take. I don't, I don't even know he was trying to hot take it. I just think that. It, it was just dumb because I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think most of America cares what if he has if you have an interpreter. As long as you can hit, run, catch, and play the game, I think that's all the fans care about. Now, if if he's talking about it from an aspect of because he, you know, he plays the game here in America and He's, you know, he's the, he's, he's such a good player in America, but then he's not here in America. And then he takes his stuff back over to China, whatever the case is or wherever he's from. Um, I, I guess he's talking about it from that aspect, but he tried to clean it up. Right. I don't know. I just thought it was a dumb comment. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, the Twitter world went crazy, you know, cause that's the, the CC, that's the real CC uh, culture. <laughs> The blue chance of culture, chance so, of culture, dude. Blue, the yeah. blue walks, man. So, Mike, I'm sorry, D. Was it finished? Nah, guys, stupid comment. That's all. Mike, what you got, man? For me, on this, um, we've all seen Stephen A. Smith talk about sports that's not basketball, and we all know he don't know what he be talking about with sports that are not basketball. So this is what happens when. You don't get good on the job training and they let you just run wild. So like D Dove said, it was a dumb comment because there's hundreds of baseball players with interpreters. Did Sammy Sosa even speak English? Like not even being funny. Like didn't Sammy Sosa have an interpreter? It was, it was yeah. broken. I think All right. a lot of guys had interpreters that played the sport and that were great at the sport. Not so, no, one Alomar, not one it, Alomar ever got on and spoke English on camera. There's no, so no. many of them that don't speak English, and it's and okay. we love them, right? It don't don't matter to me. I mean, I don't care. Lindor, don't Lindor got a he fake dude. Sometimes he do, sometimes he don't. But it's just listen. Why? why what are you care for? That's helping the economy. That's a job for somebody. Can Steve you Nation. play the game? Right. Especially in baseball. So, Mike, let me let me pose, let me pose this question to you. You said about how Stephen A. Um, and shout out to Stephen A. Man, you know, he's a journalist. Um, Allegedly, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> nope. No, that's, that's what, what I heard. That's, that's what I heard. He, I don't know. That's I, when he started reading all this. I was a football editor in so so North Carolina. That's when he started reading. I, I heard. Reading. I don't know. So, I don't, okay. Did you so say we got, journalists? Huh? Did you say journalists? Let me just, just let me just let me just reel it in. <laughs> no, I, I was just asking. That's that's what you said. I have my yeah I have my yeah mute. yeah. Oh, I okay. said journalist. Okay. Yeah, your thing's kind of low too, so you may want to bring your volume up. Your thing is muted. Call Whitlock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> for a reason. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mike, Mike, they they won't What's let up? me finish. They won't let me be great. Ask the question he's, again. He, he, he's, he's he's at this multi-million dollar um this. Con- media conglomerate, right? And you know, and 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 I'm not tooting our own horn, 
Brian Hernandez said after the show and to me today, and I don't know if you guys remember, he said, you guys are really prepared. You guys are subject expert matters on all sports. Why is that? And it's a rhetorical question, of course, because what do we do? We research, right? Yeah, like, we, like you're supposed and to. And we don't watch All-Star games. We research and don't. <laughs> well, that's yeah. what journalist, journalism was all about. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, E. I'm sorry, go ahead, clean it up. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I thought that's what journalism was all about, man. And yo, man, <laughs> I don't even know y'all want me to talk on this shit, man. I mean, yo, I, I, I give yo, you one minute. Nah, go I'll, ahead. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be keep, I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. This is something that I we have been talking about for the longest time is we got these fake, woke, fake sports, one sport columnists. That um, you know that 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 that's their that's their bread and butter, and they don't fact check. Just like most of social media, they just put stuff out there. They claim they got sources and then sources. What's crazy to me, this is the one dynamic that's always crazy to me is how how are you going to, and these are certain individuals in the in the sports media. How are you going to sit up when when a player when something's going on in a certain clubhouse, and a player who remains anonymous says something, you're the first one to be like, oh, be a man, say this and say that and da 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 put your name to it and this and that the third. But yet here you are, sir, madam, him, her, whatever. Um, you you get up there and you say anything out your mouth talking about your anonymous sources and all this other stuff. And yet when this stuff doesn't happen or anything like that, no, nothing is said. So, I mean, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? What, what, what does anybody have the um, meaning for journalism handy? I can pull up for you right now. Hold on one second. And Kev likes to read, so we we going we yeah. gonna bring this to light right now. <laughs> Dory said, "Yeah, <laughs> read." Hey, I even suggested a journalism book that they read, man. I don't know if anybody got it, man, but. Journalism. The activity or profession of writing for newspapers, magazines, or news websites for preparing news to be broadcast. Preparing news. <laughs> news to be Not broadcast. fake news. <laughs> preparing news. Thank you, Daryl Warren. No not, not opinions. Um, on, not on opinions. That, on that. Mm, not a pain. That, I, I, I'm done after that. That's all. I, that's all I wanted to bring. To that's the all end. you need. That's all. I, that's all I got. Da, I'm putting you on your leash. You got three minutes. Yo, listen, man. We we have to stop the bullshit. All right, like real talk. It was racist and it was dumb. All right. No one knows why you said it. I, I kind of know it. Then fuck it. I'll say it. You said it because you thought it would get a rise. You know, you thought it would get a rise out of someone. You thought it would be controversial. And maybe you need to bump your show's numbers. There's no other reason. Because that you've never, though I am not your biggest fan, I never thought you to be stupid. I never, never thought you to be an idiot. And that was something that someone is, that stupid or an idiot would say. And when you're talking about a league that for years, the biggest stars have talked through interpreters from the time I was a kid, from the time Roberto Clemente was there. That's right. This is what happens. Could so you-, you go from 1971 to 2021, and you're telling me he can't be the face of a sport because he has a, a, a and, and this is the fact, because he has an interpreter, it doesn't mean that he doesn't know English because he does. But unlike you, he doesn't want to put his foot in his mouth. So he makes sure he runs it through a filter, which would be his interpreter. Now, Yao Ming, when he first came, first got here, um, had an interpreter, never spoke. By year two or three, he was doing interviews. And by the time he went to the Hall of Fame, he was doing his whole speech on his own. All right. Facts. So with this being said, why would we ever say that if we're supposed to be enlightened people and moving forward? 
right? This is what we always say. All inclusive. We are all inclusive. We mm. doing this and we doing that. Oh. And you can't tell me that uh, I didn't think this would be so incendiary to the Asian people. What? Hey, uh, after, after, after the fucking the, the the Chinese flu and people getting shot in Atlanta, and they, they actually just passed a law against Asian and uh, 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 bullying. Mm-hmm. Asian hate, yeah. Asian hate speech, and you, and you didn't think this would be what? Come on, man, stop. Hey, what was what was the uh, the Los Angeles? Was it the newscaster that called called the back in the eighties? Called uh, somebody a monkey? What is it back in the day? You remember? That was what? Howard Cosell's. Was it Howard, Howard Cosell? said that on the it was. He was talking about it might have been Timmy Smith of the Washington Redskins. He was running down the sideline and he was dipping uh-huh. in and out. He said he moved like a monkey, like a little monkey. Moves a monkey. No, that was, was like the seventies. The cats was mad. Hey, let me, that let was me, my, sell. my point being is, check this out. That would be the equivalent to saying, man, a white person be like, yeah, hey, man, this black kid, man, I don't know if he could be the face of, because you know these black people. I don't know if they could be. You know what I'm saying? If somebody were to say that about a black person, he would have walked off the set. That's that's so what I'm saying is come on, dog. I mean, really? Let's be who we are, right? So let's 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 just stop. And this is not for 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 Stephen A. This is for folks that watch Stephen A and watch anyone on TV. Let's stop believing what people say and start believing in what they do. And your truth is right there. You know, that's all. So that's I'm out. Ball. On that note, I'm out. Well, we'll go on that note. We'll go back to on the field. And we'll go to MLB's top 20 ranking. Um, this is by CBS Sports. Um, CBS, yo, man, the, the San Francisco Giants, man, 57 and 32. It's going to be a problem for DA's San Diego Padres. Down the stretch. I, I, it's, boy. Uh, San Diego, we coming through. Don't worry, we'll be there. We'll figure it out. The Regular Giants season. And just just sprouted up and started playing well. They lead the majors with 57 wins and 32 losses. The Dodgers, they're ranked number two. Power ranking, 56 and 35. James Eric's Chicago's White Sox, the Southsiders. Yo, they're 54 and 35. They're coming through. We beat them up, bang the trash can. Houston Astros, all their stars missed the All-Star game for whatever reason, but Astros are back at 55 and 36. Um, Shout out to Dusty Baker's son. He got drafted by the Washington Nationals, too. Um, Yo, the Red Sox have just snuck in and and started playing very well, and Chris Sales, he's on point again. Oh, yeah, man. Dude. So they've they've they skyrocketed. It came out of nowhere. They was holding, hanging behind the Rays, and then has surpassed the Rays for a game and a half. Pitching, yep, yeah, they're, they're pitching is back. The Rays are ranked number six. D uh, DA's the uh, Padres. They're ranked number seven. The Brewers are coming along. They're ranked number eight at fifty three and thirty nine. The Oakland Athletics, man, boy, I tell you, boy, money ball, money ball, money ball. They still don't even have a home. Could be in Vegas in the next few years. Who knows? But um, um, Oakland is a really good baseball town, man. The A's are now currently ninth. Um, Mike Mills, New York Mets. The Mets continue to pitch. The Mets got, for God's sakes, how many doubleheaders they going to play this year? Wait, wait, um, wait, wait, Kev. What about my Yankees, man? I, I, I didn't finish. They're, they're, not in the, they're not ranked. Oh, they're what? 12, man. They're 12. Yankees are 12. I'm messing with them, but yeah. Oh, my the Red, God. The Reds are coming along. I was watching the Reds game the other night and just flicking through. The Reds got some players on there, so they're ranked number yeah. 11. The Yankees are ranked number 12. Um, Yankees need to address some hitting pitch, pitching issues. No, they just need to address the whole damn team, man. The, the Mariners are 48 and 43. The Yo, Go ahead. why the Yankees are 45, a 46 and 43? And they 12. That's that white privilege that we ain't talking about. I and I agree with you, Michael. They should not be that that's still too high for them. That is, they are it's outrageous. They are very they are not they, a good ball they, club. They, they they CBS has them highly ranked than the Mariners, 
and the Angels uh, now, now and fellas, Blue Jays, and they got better records than the Yankees currently. Well, the Angels don't. The Angels record bad, but they're no, 45. They're they game behind. I mean, the Angels are 45 and 40. The Angels. Yankees are not a, a good team. They're not a good team. No, 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 no. They're not a great team. But they're not a bad team. They're, they're still a good team. They still got, yeah. like, like me, and we let the guy go any further. I'm saying like this. If you ain't in the top 10 right now, you are a seller. The Yankees need to be selling <laughs> off for the Thank season. you. That's all I'm saying. But I've been saying that for the last month. Well, The right. Yankees are a seller. They're not a buyer. We don't want nothing good that you have. We're, we, I'm, we're, we're going to do like, Listen, would you be interested nope. in the Giancarlo Stanton for that, 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 and that, 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 that? Well, D, they're going to tell you no, because we're no, not paying. No, but we'll pay part of his salary. We'll, we'll pay half his salary. How about that? Yeah, we'll pay. Yeah, listen, Just if, you're the San, if you're the San Francisco Giants, yeah, you take, take that. You'll take it. He yeah. can throw the ball in McCovey Cove, B. Yeah. <laughs> he can throw it in McCovey <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, you're right. Come on, dog. Like, come on. So, <laughs> Cashman needs to be on that phone. Oh, he is. He better be. Should be. Yeah, getting back to that point, that that yeah, that and that would put the Giants. That would be oof. Like you said, he could dump to McCovey Cove. You're right. Going the other way. Remember how we used to, used to pitch ourselves back in the street? Mm -hmm. How you had the ball and you just throw it up and you hit it? Yeah, he could mm -hmm. do that. McCovey Cove. Bow. Yeah. All night. All day. All, all night. Yeah, I don't know that's that's I only that's business. only if he's on the field. But yo, um, dog, yeah. he ain't gotta be. He ain't gotta play every night. He's just a bad. Oh, he won't be because he's gonna oh, be hurt by again yeah. by the end of the week. <laughs> yes, but yo, you, yeah, Three, hey, close six. They got a righty up. They got a right-handed pitcher. Throw him out there. Blow. Boom. Yeah, he low management. He low, low management. No, no, no. He, he's just uh, hurt. Yo, he's really as a, as a diehard Yankee fan, the only thing that I want back in return for Stanton is is minor leaguers. That's it. I don't want I don't want uh, yeah. processed food coming over here. Yeah, oh, I, I agree. Want the, uh, I, you want I, Jim I will Bob? pay half of his contract I, I, look, to look, get him look. out of here to get some prospects. So you Stanton. want Jim Mike, Bob from AAA and Mike and I'll Joe Bob from you, Double A? That's Mike, right. I did. And, I didn't and a even want. From, from California, and, 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 I, and like, I want a seventeen. I, I want a seventeen-year-old that's actually twenty-one from Honduras. That, that's yeah, what I want. Mike, Mike, I don't want. I don't want any cat speaking English. That's and right. You could just give me one. See, <laughs> give me. He, he asking for a lot. I wasn't expecting to get nothing back. I'm giving this to you, San Francisco Giants. Listen, and I'm paying half his salary, half his salary. just to get him out of. Here, he got to leave out of my house. Mike, we want Carlos Stanton. It's time for you to go. <laughs> D, I was, I was a proponent. I'd said it from the beginning. I didn't like his contract. I don't like the years. I said it from the time that they signed him. Yeah, the home runs is pretty, but when he don't perform like he should, supposed to, and he's hurt, and the Yankees right now are no, they're just, they're not, to me, they, they're not what we're used to as New Yorkers, they're, they're, they're as New so, York Yankee fans they're, they're, they're over so, the last 15, 20 years. We've been spoiled. I, I just nowhere think they're a complete team. No, no way. and I don't think that if you look at their roster from right now, <clears throat> they don't have a team that could compete in the division they're in to make the wild card. And I'm being, I'm very real with it. Like, wild card. Like, candidly, the Yankees can't beat Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay ever. No. So we've got no chance. Of even beating them out for the wild card, like we need another team to nuclear bomb them and push them way behind us for it's for us to even have a chance. And some so, way, even, some way, even ask the contract that we gave Garrett Cole. I keep, yeah, but see, Garrett. Nah, 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 uh, nah, nah, yeah, I'm, nah. I'm with my man. Is good though. He good. Nah, nah, D, D, D. Last Saturday night, Garrett Cole got smoked. Argued, argued with Boone and said. He said some explicatives on that mile. He said, yo, I'm good. This. Leave me in this damn game. And Garrett yeah. Cole was like, he's like, give me the damn ball. And he showed up. Boom, walked off. His head between his legs. <laughs> and, 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 and Cole finished the game. That's a hot take. That don't mean nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fans, Thank I'm you, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Our, our host and moderator is tripping right now. Could bring it up that hot take. Oh, uh, he want the ball. Oh, I want the ball. I need a Look body of work. I'm, 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 I, I, I like Garrett Cole. He's not. 
He's not the Grom, but I like Derek Cole. I'm, I'm, y'all can send him, if y'all sick of him, y'all can send him across. We we'll always use one more. Picture. No, Mike, we're not. You go. Don't listen to Eric and and, and D Dub. No. no, 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 no. Hold on, no. hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not shitting. I'm not shitting on Cole at all. Right. All I'm saying is these contracts, and we've talked about it. I'm just talking about the contract. Yo, man, yo, I, don't, I understand you guys, the guys are good and all this other stuff. So whatever happened to a four or five year deal? Whatever happened to that? You got to sign guys 10 years just for get him to sign. And I understand this part of the business. I understand that. I'm a journalist. I, I, I research this stuff. We do this on the daily, folks, okay? But all I'm saying is that contract is whack. I'm sorry. That the contract is whack. And then pigeon, pigeon he's pitching toes. good now. He may pitch good next year. What happened? We may come in. We may, may, may come into the same situation that we have in, with Stanton five years from now. Well, we're going to have to pay half his contract to get him out of here because he's pitching like Chuck Knobloch. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's just an if. It's just an if. Nine years, nine years worth three hundred twenty-four million dollars. Kev, I'm just saying, man. That's that's just. I I, I hear you. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? And it also it keeps on. We keep on ended up in this. This this hole this hole of of a of a contract with a player and then then now we trying to pay half a contract half a contract to send them away, I mean I, I don't know I I, I just don't know what we are doing that's all he hey, hey, you know you you brought up the thing about you know the situation against Houston and that's cool I dig that you know what I'm saying it was good to see however. Why you wasn't why you wasn't so adamant when they asked you about uh was you uh using spot tack? <laughs> you was fumbling over words and all this other stuff. What happened to that three three hundred and twenty million dollar hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 Y'all yeah. y'all know my man got set up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's Listen. like that's like you asking the weed man. Well, everybody knows the weed man hey, about the motherfucking DA. weed. He's like, whoa, whoa, DA, whoa. DA, you supposed to nah DA, I'm gonna just say this. You were supposed to say <laughs> look both ways and say. I want to talk to my lawyer. That's all he had to say. Yeah. He had hey, to he could have went like Palmera. I, I I don't understand English. I don't give a fuck what he could say. Oh, Steven like, ain't gonna ask me that interpreter. Then. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. Listen, my- uh, listen. Uh, y'all so worried uh, about yeah. Spider Tech? Going to send him down. Tell him hop on that seven train and come on down. And go play for the Mets. <clears throat> and I think it was. It might have been take Stanton too. I think it's no, no, no Stanton. I, you know, nah, you can't you. get cold without Stanton, dog. Hey, I'm nah, making I mean, deals that's... out here for this pinstripe. <laughs> I think it was, I think it was made a bit, might have been A Rod was the first 10 year, eight, nine, 10 year contract, man. So looking at it from a business perspective, yeah, I don't agree with it, but this is where the game is at. And it wasn't the Yankees that did it. I think it was the <laughs> Texas Rangers contract, it was like a seven, eight year long contract with the money for A Rod. Mm-hmm. And things just kept going, you know, till we got Bryce Harper at his 10 year joint. Remember, they gave, uh, what's your man name, man? Old man that is with the Dodgers now. Um, he a Hall of Famer um, from, from um, St. Louis. Pools. Um, Pools. They yeah. gave him 10 joints, B. Yeah. I didn't agree he with was, that. He was either. 31 then. Yeah, we, we talked about that. We, we talked yeah. about You that. see how that's Asia. He got like, it. like, to oh, be honest, not- like, Go ahead. Go ahead, Kev. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kev. Now nah, I was just saying, uh, you know, those, you know, MLB contracts, those big contracts are, are favorites or popular right now. And, and that's what they do. It doesn't make it right. But oh, yeah, no, nah, but that's what they you know do. What I'm saying? It doesn't make physically responsibility, but especially going down the years, you know, you sign a big contract like that. We're at this place of where we're at with, const- with, with, with um, what you call Michael? What's, what's the name that you give um, um, Stanton? We're Juan at Carlos. Michael yeah, Juan Juan Carlos. Carlos. We're at this place where you know now we gotta pay to get rid of them, whatever the case may be. Hey, owners own, GM GM, coaches coach, players play. So who, who who is it? Who's supposed to say no? Well, unless you're, I'm not going to do it. No, 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 no. Let me go. Let me go to. Let me go. Let me go to trade rumors real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna shoot to basketball. Um, Chris Bryant is on the trading block. What y'all think about Chris Bryant? Where can he fit? Again, the Cubs are selling. (laughs) Chris Bryant, they'll get rid of Rizzo if you you give him something good. Rizzo has to be the fuck up out of there. 
Well, they asked. Well, they. I. I. I'm, I'm reading on from CBS's thing. They're saying. They're saying nothing about Rizzo, but I'm guaranteed if they did ask about Rizzo, they would. But um, Kimbrough, they got him on the block too. Those two guys could be gone before they would put um, return on play on Friday. So we'll have to well, see. I, I heard rumors of Chris Bryant to the Mets. I don't know how Mike feel about that. We'll take him, send him. Come on. Where are you playing at, Mike? Where you doing? Third. Come off the bench. Yeah, they can split time. So between him and Davis, we'll make it work. Okay. Mike is like, come one, come all. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. I mean, center fielder too. Any guy who got a center fielder for low, we'll take him. (laughs) No, Mike. No. We're not selling. We need a center fielder. We'll buy one. You could take. You could take that old ass. Uh, what's 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 that man? Um, Brett Gardner. Yeah, you could take him for for some lays. I bet. Send him. He hustle. I like him. Send him. It's going to be interesting down the stretch. As so, D Dub, we officially. This is baseball. You said don't look at the thing until the All Star. After, after after the All Star, time to get excited. Yeah, this is down the stretch. Down the stretch. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't see the Yankees. They they in an eight game hole right now. Can it be done? Yeah, but I don't see that team doing it. Um, down the stretch, you got uh, what we got? What are we looking at? Um, that's that that eight, uh, National League West. That's gonna be tight. That's yeah, that's tight. That's a uh, the Padres are six games behind, so that's tight. Uh, Reds and Brewers. Pretty good. That's gonna they four games back of the Brewers. And you got the Braves. Braves, Phillies, and Mets. Mets is three and a, three and a half up on, on the Phillies. So uh they these teams are who they are right now. This is this is it. This is what you're gonna see going into the to that wild card, getting that wild card. And you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be good down the stretch. But as far as my Yankees, man, uh, I'm I'm about done with them. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and give out my predictions right here, right now. Um, I think, uh, I think the Giants is gonna cause a, a problem for either the Dodgers or the Padres in order uh, for that wild card to get in. You might see a, a two, two of those teams out of there uh, playing in that wild card playing. Um, I got Cincinnati winning that Central. Um, they're 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 fierce, man. They 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 get after it. They they remind me of old school baseball. Um, anybody get a chance to watch Cincinnati play, man? They 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 hustle. Um, yeah, and and it seemed like <laughs> seemed like everybody behind the Mets want to play hot potato. With who's going to be in second place? So um, I think that's unless the Mets just unless God forbid if something happened to Degrom. Uh, I don't I don't see nobody beating them in that division. No. And and the same thing with the AL. Uh, Houston got. I'm sorry, ain't nobody messing with Houston right now. Houston done hit a stride, and I don't see them giving up nothing in that West. Uh, Oakland, eh, eh, they do this every year to me. Um, uh, they'll get to the playoffs and don't do nothing. So let's not put them there. Um, Chicago got it locked in the Central, and in in the in the East, man, is is is. <laughs> Uh, Red Sox is hitting the stride now. Uh, if they falter, the Rays is there. Might be for the Rays to take, but uh, yeah, that's 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 what I got, man. South side old day though. South siders, man. South side. Hey, man, it's, it's just been a real pleasure, man. We have talked MLB for forty eight minutes, man. It just shows Sorry. That it can be done. Let's go, Mets. Same. It can be. Hey, Essentia, you know the vibes. Fucking on your life. We got a sponsor by them. Please don't be. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I just say, I just say alkaline. It? Oh, okay. Yo. I say alkaline your life. That's all I say. Anyway. That's some good water. But uh, somebody reach out to them. Say they they can pay it. Say they can. You know, I'll drink. I mean, I gotta send you down here. I'll drink it all day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. <laughs> See, you said the name. I like to alkaline your life. <laughs> Yo, me and Mike. Oh, worry, yo, man, yo, man, yo, I've been working hard today, man. My bad, man. Cause he, he don't, cause he twelve. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah tw- cause, he, cause he twelve. Yeah, he twelve. Like, shut up. <laughs> Moving right along, let's go to the National Basketball Association, where the um, I can't even think. The Suns, the Phoenix Suns, are up uh, two to one 
Chris Paul is out there doing his thing. He's shaking and baking, and um, they have the Suns. Excuse me, the Suns are up two to one. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks are at home tonight. They will try to see if they can win Game Four and you know make this a best of three. And we'll start with D Dub. D Dub, what do you think of the series? Well, have you been watching? Series? Let's get to that. Let's. That's. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. Yeah, my TV been going off at nine thirty because I can almost pretty much basically predict who's going to win. And when I turned it off on what was it Sunday night? I believe it was Sunday night. Was the last night they played? Uh, Milwaukee was up at. Um, it must have been about. I forget how many points, but I turned it off, so I didn't watch it all. I just wake up to see and kind of much figure out, you know, look at the highlights. And pretty much it, it pans out to what I'm thinking, you know, right. what team is going to win right? or what, what team won. So, you know, uh, it's predictable. They let Giannis do first two games. They let Chris Paul or the first game, let Chris Paul get to her, every spot on the floor. Second night, probably pretty much the same. Giannis came back third at 41 points, 42 points, I believe, somewhere around that uh, 242, 240 point nights, I believe, back to back. Yes. So uh, Giannis is. Uh, we'll see what he does tonight. See if he can control the game. If they, they uh, Milwaukee should tie it up tonight. And uh, I, I was. I, I, it's probably gonna go go seven games. I, I think it's gonna go seven games. Mike Bills, what you got on the basketball tip? I mean, I predicted Milwaukee in six, and I'm well right reverse. I picked Phoenix in six. Okay, I said that last week when we was getting up the air, but. Uh, I said Phoenix in six, and I think that's what's going to happen. Milwaukee was home. They had the energy. They won. A lot of energy. And then, and then Phoenix played bad, but Devin Booker shot horribly. So it's always good when they good night is your bad night. Mm -hmm. So they got that out of the way. I see them coming out and winning it again. They just they got eight in the foul trouble early, which they should have been dead. That was a good little idea. We'll see if they'll keep it going up. But Buddha and Jose don't adjust well. So the balls in Monty, Monty Williams court, like, I think they'll win it again. I think they'll win tonight. Okay. Oh, shout out to Cam Johnson. He, whoo, boy, 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 yeah, boy. Cam Johnson, absolutely. He, he. he Yo, he, yo, but to be ball. honest with you, man, um, this series really hasn't. It's not because it doesn't have star guys, but these guys haven't really done it for me as far as, you know what I'm saying? I watch a little bit, but they still haven't, you know, it's not. You cried and cried all I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> about stars. And no, I, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Sir. I didn't say, I said it. I didn't say, I said these guys are stars. They still they're good. They're good players. But it just I'm just not I'm not moved. I'm not thrilled by. I'm just not you know I'm not moved by. It. Uh, nah, he's he's right. It ain't been. It's not moving rounds. the needle. Don't act like it's this the, this the other this is moving the needle, better. man. Like, like it's been cool. Sure. Like it's been don't, like it's don't. been cool. It's been like all right, cool. Yeah, it's it not like it ain't been a game where it's like. Yo, oh, man. it ain't been a signature game yet. I agree. I check the check the check the um the the stats. The um who's 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 watching? What's what's the game's been been like? For me? What's the uh? Are you talking about the rating wise? Yeah, the rating. What's what's the ratings? Oh, uh, right, let me get to ya. Can you think about he's doing that? Let me let me just say that. Um, um, I will I will give Boot and Hoser credit that they obviously. Well, I don't know if it was the well. It had to be. It had to be the coaching because they're not playing Chris Paul the way they was in that game one. I don't know what the fuck. Excuse me. I don't know what the hell they was. Uh, what kind of defense? El Matador defense they were playing in game one. But uh, um, Chris Paul is still doing his thing, but it's not as easy as it was. And uh, me personally, I know Yannick is the freak and all or whatever. I'm waiting for Booker. I'm I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna just be all the way honest. I pick Phoenix. I think I said in five. I don't even remember. But I'm. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Booker to have his signature moment like he has done in every round so far. I'm, I'm waiting for Booker to take over. And to be honest, they're up to, and he has not played his best basketball yet in, in this series. Right, right. Um, Giannis is back-to-back is, is, is -back 40s, and he only got one win out of it. So I, I, 
y'all do the math on that one. But I mean, things we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I got Phoenix winning tonight. Um, I think they're going to shock the world, and um, I I think um Milwaukee. I, I think it's going to be over in five or six. Um, and Devin it. Booker been playing bad since he got hit in the nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got a good I've been telling people, what's up my other day? Like Chris Paul been carrying the last week. I uh, or so on the low. I think that I think Phoenix is gonna win too. Um I think these are two good teams, not two great teams, because they have to depend on their role players. So you are admitting well. that the injuries did play a role no, in their no, no, path to getting no, to no. the championship series. I, right? I, I didn't say nothing about anybody getting injured. Um I'm saying that their their backup guys, their role players. Like in any way, they're going to play better at home, um, and that's what we've seen. So you know, so you get your your Tuckers and those guys have better games at home, um, and like when you're in the when you're watching a great team, they're great everywhere, and we don't have that yet. Now both of these teams, I believe, are growing into being great teams. Absolutely, I believe that. Um, I think both of these teams are going to be, you know. Really good. I think the rest of the NBA around these two teams, we have to see how those things kind of shake out. Uh, you know, with the draft coming up and the draft combines and watching the kids and seeing who's out there and, and you know, that happening, things are going to get a little bit um, different in the coming seasons. And there's probably going to be a, a, a change of teams at the top. But I think because of the way that both of these teams made their ascension. They'll both be there for years to come. So, um, but yeah, I, I got Phoenix, I think, taking it uh, in seven games because, you know, their role players play better at home. I don't think anybody's going to lose a home game. So that's, wow. that's, that's, that's kind of where I see it. Interesting thought. Um, D-Dub, you got those... Um... Yeah, well, viewership is up from 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 last year. From last year's bubbles game, view, I wonder viewership why. was up nine million. Yeah, and but the previous year, twenty nineteen, the viewership is down thirty four percent. So from twenty twenty one to twenty nineteen, in three games, is down thirty four percent. I'll say last year. Uh, is is from this year to last year is up from thirty three percent because the last year was in the bubble and it was trash and everybody knows it but there you go. Um, I, I say that that's why you have to keep you can't just push one star you need to push every anybody and you can't crap on your product you gotta if there's thirty NBA teams in thirty different cities and markets guess what they're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. There because the city or the municipality can, you know, afford and can maintain of having that team in there. And if they don't, or whatever the case may be, the owner doesn't like it no more. They they have moved and they have done this in, since the beginning of the time. They have moved their teams from here to there to where, whatever financially fits close to them. But I can't stand when when these talking heads get on there and say, "Oh man, this city man, they just don't." Well, they. They deemed it that it was good at one time. What happened? But you know, that's the talk. That's, that's, that's your man's like uh, Stephen A. and your man Colin Cowherd that that promote this dumb stuff. As you know, you know this this city's here is good, better than this city here, and you know, yada yada yada. You know that four letter sitcom. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. even call them a whole conglomerate no more. They're a sitcom. Be yeah, they 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 actually a joke. You know, yeah, people but, remember what the what. what he was Lou Alcina, Korean you know, dude Jabbar back in the days. Won won a title with the Bucks back in the early seventies. Mm. Going playing with the Lakers. Don't matter, man. That, no. that stuff doesn't matter. Any, anyway, let's let's move right along to another basketball topic. Um, Team USA uh, basketball. Uh, they played oh. uh, two. <laughs> two. Did somebody say? Oh, they played two exhi exhibition games. They played three. They played three. Yeah, they oh. played three. They they mm -hmm. won the. the they won the last game. one. They won, yeah. they won the last one. And, you know, um, they lost to Nigeria the first night, and they lost to Australia. Somebody's ready to go? Okay. Um, dang, maybe my train of thought. 
they lost the first night, then they lost the second night, then they won yesterday. My my question to you guys, and we'll we'll start with Eric. Eric, is Team USA, what's going on with Team US basketball? Just give me your synopsis on it. Nothing. I mean, they're just like any other team that you you put a team together, and um, you know they're learning each other. I mean, it could be a bunch of stars. It could be a bunch of uh, guys off the back corner here. Uh, it's, it's the same. But making gotta... them did not lose when they went. Who? What? Who? Wait. Say that again. Mike and them did not lose in ninety two okay. in Boston. Well, if you if you if you would let me finish, okay, I can I can I can clear up some things. Okay, when Mike and them were playing, okay, their competition was nowhere near the level of where Mike and them were at. People need to understand that these Euro leagues, these African leagues, and all this other stuff, they they are playing hard to come here. They are doing everything they can to come here. That's okay. Correct. And they are playing a style of basketball that um, the NBA used to play. So when you get guys like KD and, and Bradley Bill and them boys getting whooped up on out, out uh, the physicality affects them a little bit. It's going to take them a time. It's going to take some time to adjust to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they're not getting calls like how they would get in the NBA. Yeah, you're not you're not getting them superstar calls. Um, you know, you you pump fake and then you jump up and you you jump into the guy. Nah, you you're not doing none of that, man. You have to play oh, sound basketball in order to in order to advance it. You this is not no this is not no um no 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 cheese puff league that you're going through now. So. And the NBA has done uh, injustice to these players for doing that, calling these 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 these. these stupid fouls that not are that really are not fouls and you know they get so used to it i mean yeah i saw i saw the other night kd was looking at the ref the ref was like play no yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, mean, I mean it's 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 bad but um i i was asking myself i was like has the has the rest of the world caught up to usa basketball has has nope. they have they caught up to these guys you know what I'm saying? I mean, we'll see. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We'll see. But as of right now, man, uh, they, you know, they, they got to win the other night. Again, I'm not really, I wasn't really, I'm not really checking for USA basketball. So Mike, you might be able to tell me better what's going on with this. Maybe. By the looks of that face, don't look like it. <laughs> Mike Mills, go ahead, man. Nah, all I was I thought he was gonna say what I was gonna say because normally we'd be on the same page, but he ain't say what I was gonna say. Well, I'm I ain't want to steal your light, man. Oh, all right, cool. What I was gonna say is, don't nobody care, and know these games don't mean nothing. Right, it's, I mean. it's a glorified pickup game. Did you see who's on the Nigerian roster? A bunch of dudes who don't get playing time in the U.S. Besides, what's the name? Precious. The rest of them don't really play. So the rest of these teams got something to prove. It's like when you're the big dog. The rest of these teams got something to prove. They're trying to prove they can compete. And then they're going to get to the Olympics, and France is going to trounce one of them by 30 million points. And be like, who's on France? Nobody you thought of. It's just, Except it's for Frank. just Right, that's just. Frank Nil- uh, Nilakina? Yeah. <laughs> Like he had like fifteen. <laughs> he had fifteen minutes of play, kid. He got he got more he got more minutes in that game than the Knicks gave him all year, dog. Don't uh, that. Ella's so wrong. <laughs> but so yeah, wrong. go ahead, yeah, Mike. Nobody, I'm just saying, yeah. man. My bad. But nobody care about these one world games. They barely care about the Olympics. They only care about the Olympics when the USA lose. And the memes were funny. I enjoyed the memes after the game. Like how they saying this KD first year being the best player in the world and. He couldn't make it out the East or beat Nigeria. Like, they had me <laughs> crying. But other than that, man, nobody cares. Exhibition games for the Olympics. Thank you, Mike, for your take. Uh, uh, DA? Games mean nothing, man. They, 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 they don't mean anything to anybody. Thank you. So, nothing. Except the other team when they win. Yeah. If they lost, it was an exhibition. But we went, yeah. we beat the U.S. Like, it's like being the Patriots in the preseason. Nobody care. Yeah, it's, it's really don't, don't. So let me let me pose this question to you. Do you think that even the Olympics has it lost its luster? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. As far as nope. what? That's a reach. I just oh, think that a these winning, games the don't Olympics. matter. I just don't think these games matter to the guys playing until, you know, there's something 
to be won. You don't win right. anything in exhibition games. Right. You know, you work things out in exhibitions. You work out, you know, spacing. You work out this. When there's a medal to be won, dudes are going to get right. It's or seating. Right. You know, it's nothing to be won right now, so it doesn't really matter to these guys. So, well, well, at least I don't see it. Kev, you... you... You said it uh, has it lost its luster. Do you are you pertaining to the fans or are you pertaining to the players? Uh, to the players, as far as like they look. That's that was my question. Nah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so because they wouldn't have signed up if they didn't care. You know, what I saying? think like, a couple years back when they had lost it, and then everybody like it revitalized. Because remember, maybe before LeBron, we wouldn't have got like somebody like a Damian Lillard playing in this. We wouldn't have got somebody like him, or you know. So it's true, Mike. Nah, right. I don't think it's. I think they need to go let the college kids go. But yeah, I think they. I think they need to kind of bring that back. Um, at least half the team. At least None of them college dudes is like that no more, though. Nah, they got cancers. Like they got dudes that's still. Mike, you just gotta let the kids play, dog. You just gotta put them out there and see. Cause you didn't know. Look, that's dude. why they got the under. <laughs> but you ain't no dude that. Uh, yeah, and she, and that's exactly why. So like, we never lose under nineteen. We never lose eighteen under. Right, we because never we, lose that. We, we got those dudes. They're in college playing. You know, you just gotta let them play. That's all. You just gotta let them play, man. You know, but it is unfair to put them against pros, because the reality is that. A pro is a pro is a pro. I don't give a fuck where you at. If you're playing right. in the pro league in, in Australia, you're nice, dog. Because you know what those dudes in Australia made? LaMelo Ball. That's what they made. That's what they made. You know what them pros in, in Lithuania made? Luka Doncic. That's what they made. Are you, are you, what, are you saying not to for, for the American to... I said they should put half the team college kids, half the team's pros. Okay, yeah, I I could go with that. You know, give them kids a chance, and it'll make the pros that that are there, it'll make them into leaders. It'll make them have to go out there and maybe, you know, teach these kids and work with these kids, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super cool with that. You know, I, I don't, yeah. And I think the college kids want to play. Mm-hmm. So I, I really do. WNBA All-Star game is on 73-71 West. It ain't West, it's WNBA versus something, something else they jacked up, but. USAW versus the WNBA. <laughs> yeah, sorry, 73-71 WNBA. Oh, so it's the women's team versus the WNBA team? That's correct. Like I said, something else they messed up. Yeah, yeah. They doing the shit like, like they did back with Mike and them was, was young. Well, well, we're, we're going to move right along. To, um, <laughs> the parting the- shots, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, oh, we got something else? We got, we got one other thing. Uh, where did he go? The, the MMA guy, the, the boxer MMA guy. Where did he go? Oh, ain't nothing oh, right, even yeah, to talk man. about. That, yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. McGregor is beat. That is awful. Is I think finished, everybody man. could say it's time for him to step it's away time. and let somebody yeah. else gonna, get that shine. He about then, to go do WWE. He about to come out. Yeah, and that's yeah. respectfully, man. You know, this guy, this guy has been a, a great champion. At, you know, he's been entertaining. He's been all that, but after watching Saturday night first round, he steps back, breaks his. Uh, after uh, the man. kick, steps back, breaks his ankle. I mean, yeah. this was the third fight with uh, Pri- Pri- I can't never say his name, but my Poirier. man Pete Poirier, right? So he just, uh, I think it might be time. It's time for him to, uh, you know, now he might come back and he might do some things. But that's again. But as far as watching him, man, I think I think everybody's had enough of uh, Mr. McGregor. It's time. It's, I think it's time. For them to do something else. Stars. Yeah, it's time for the new, new stars. stars. New stars. That's yeah. cool. What you think, Kev? What's your take? I think it's home for him. I think it's uh, Conor McGregor. His his time. He's I'm like with D Dub. He 
He shined. He did well. He came from nothing. If you read his story, like DA was saying early in, in, in before we came on the air about the seven story things, that's a rags to riches story. If you read his story, man, it's pretty, pretty. And neat. Kev. Yeah, nothing, man. Kev, and not to mention, he made a hundred million dollars fighting Floyd Mayweather. Jr. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah. There's no reason. There's no way. And I'm not pocket watching. But if that was my pocket, I would be done with this game. There's I'll nothing else I have done. to prove. After fighting Floyd, like, I'm done. There's nothing else. To, there's nothing else. What am I? What am I doing? Good. I'm going to go it's enjoy good. my kid. He has a little baby, beautiful baby. I'm going to enjoy my baby and my wife, and I'm going. I'm going. I'm just on with um with Vince McMahon and um maybe the yeah. Wife. I'm I'm going to sell my whiskey. He got a he got an Irish whiskey. I'm going to sell my whiskey, and I'm going to. That's it. You lost you know to Floyd. I'm gonna go cry my hundred million dollars. Good night. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's that's just what it is, man. But he, again, getting back to the seven stories, his story is a rags to riches story, and, and the guy came from absolutely nothing. And he made made a, a name for himself. Shout out, shout man. Out. Shout out, shout out to Conor McGregor though. He's a he's he's a he's definitely one of the most entertaining guys <laughs> that you at press conference time. Very entertaining dude. Disrespectful at some, at some at some points, mm-hmm. but entertaining. D Doug, do you have anything on the boxing front or MMA front that's getting yo ready? man? I'm disappointed because my man Tyson Fury got COVID nineteen, and him and Deontay Wilder has been postponed. Uh, that fight was uh, slated for the end of July, so that. Mm-hmm. But yep. we are we do got uh, Errol Spence and. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, not the fight yeah. that I wanted to see, and you know, again, boxing need to get their stuff together because there's fights out there that needs to happen and they're not happening. Uh, between him, then you got my man uh, Tank Davis, and then there's a there's a line, a list of people that these young fighters need to be fighting, and they're not fighting one another. Between you got him uh, because they all part of different uh, promotions. Him, Devin Haney, uh, uh, Tia Fimo, uh, Lomachenko. I mean, all these guys, man. They, uh, what's my other dude? Uh, uh, it's another cat. I just, I just lost his name. But you know, uh, you got Jamel Charlo fighting. My man, Bud, Bud, Bud. No one yeah, wants to fight Bud. Nobody man. wants. Nobody. It seems like nobody. He can't get a fight, and it's it's ridiculous, man. The the fight game. Uh, I don't know. They need they uh, they need to have these guys fighting, man. It's not happening as quickly or as it should. I mean, it's twenty. They lost a whole whole last year with uh, minimal fights. So this year, uh, you know, you would think they'd be fighting and getting some of these um these guys together, but it's, it's not happening. But you do got Jamel Charlo, Jamel Charlo, one of the twins from the Charlo. Uh, Fighting this weekend, Casano, I think. Uh, his, the, yeah, Casano. The other guy is this weekend, so that should be. I think he's trying to unify uh, titles um, this weekend, so that should be good. Shout out to the uh, Charlo twins. There, uh, I think some people don't really believe him, but I think they're the real deal. So you know, but they just need more fights, and I think that's what happens you, when you don't have that signature fight people you know people are looking for and it's not their fault it's just it's this promotion it's just all this stuff everybody talk i'll fight you i'll fight you but we we'll never you'll we'll never get it and that's why box boxing kills itself for you know all these promotions and promoters and that's and we can never get these guys together because they they trying to they try to hand pick their fights and you know what's the best time to fight this guy and if we're gonna catch him slipping if we catch him slipping then you know you know it's the game Gotcha. Um, what a good show tonight, man. What a good show tonight. We had a good show. Mike Mills, where can we be found at? Where are you at? We can be found anywhere that podcast can be found. Apple, Spotify, Deezer, as, kid, as our host and moderator likes to say. And uh, on social media, we can be found at Sports Chasers Podcast. That's it? Yeah. YouTube, like, click. Oh, yeah. my bad. YouTube. You my bad. My bad. My bad. Look, yo, yo, you bad me. me though. <laughs> yeah. YouTube, Sports Chasers Podcast. 
Tell don't forget the, the like, like button, man. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. It's free. Just hit the button. Yeah, yeah. It's free. Why, why, man, it might any important things, any important shots, anything you got to get off your chest, anything you want to share? Uh, shout out to Saturday, the brand we know and love. And nah, nothing major this week. Phoenix and six. Phoenix and six. Um, Eric? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a shake the shake the carriage right quick. Yo, shout out to Candace Parker, Mike Mills' uh, secret sauce. Yo, shout out to Candace Parker for making the uh, cover of uh, <laughs> NBA 2K22 cover. Shout out first female basketball player to make the cover. Yeah. 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 That's it. I didn't yeah, buy the last that's, one, that's but no I'm going to buy this that's one. No, that's no slander towards Candace, man. Candace is a hell of a player in her own right. That's right. People just and, need to. Stop and I comparing. genuinely love you. Like we're not even joking. I love you. Yeah, he he really does. So, uh, Mike, I just need you to pick me up a copy. PlayStation Four. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she don't got no husband. They divorced. <laughs> oh, she better. Uh, the, the stalker has checked all that. <laughs> checked all the boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> D.A., what you got, brother? D.A., you got anything? Nothing? Uh, yo, um, everybody be cool, fellas. Tomorrow I'm down for the count. Got surgery on my left shoulder. Getting a new one. You know, Bionic another man. reason for them to stop me in TSA in the airport. <laughs> so this looks so crazy. He don't got no head on my screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, Jesus. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> just so, shoulders talking about yeah, getting new shoulders. That's exactly what I'm getting. A brand new shoulder tomorrow. So yeah. fellas, you all sleep well. I'll talk to y'all uh, probably tomorrow in the evening. Okay. Prayers for you, yeah. brother. On the night. Yes, sir. So, Prayers up for you, big bro. What you got, man? Sir. You dope. Oh man, I think uh no, nah, I ain't got nothing really pertinent, man. I think we just do it, you know, uh we need to do a an open forum. And just just kick around some of this stuff that's non you know, non stuff. But you know, other than that, I ain't got nothing really serious. Just thoughts in my head uh, Gotcha. Um make this as I always go. say at the end of the show, um hey, wash your hands, mind your business. That's one. Um, two, I'm grateful for this coming weekend. My family's coming down. We're gonna have a good time. Shout out to my mother, Vanessa Warren. We're gonna shout her up. She's turning 80 years old. Mm. So, all right, all right. Celebrate my mom this weekend, me and D-Dub's mom. And um, my mom too, don't leave me out. Sorry, yeah, yeah E's mom. Everybody's mom here on this platform. Uh, damn it, she's absolutely has impacted each and one of our lives. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'm so grateful for her, man. So shout out to Vanessa Warren, man. We love you, man. And you know what? She be liking and sharing our stuff. That is one thing for sure. Is that right, guys? No doubt. Mike is laughing because he knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey put something up. Boy, <laughs> once you say be on it. <laughs> man, but uh, nah, man, we're gonna have a good time with you, man. But um, Yo, man, like I said, hey, wash your hands, mind your business, man, and, you know, hey, y'all be straight, man. But listen, on behalf of myself, DA, Mike Mills, James, Eric Warren, and D-Dub, I um, sound like a radio DJ now. Hey. I'm Kevin L. Warren, your host and moderator. So, this is the Sports, Pod- Sports Chasers Podcast. We'll see y'all next week. Y'all have a good one. Be blessed. Peace. Later. Later. Blew on my eardrum. <laughs>